Hello, welcome back to Libya Diaz Studio. Today we have an exciting and informative tutorial lined up for you. We'll be exploring the crucial elements of undertone and mass tone, thin and thick strokes of paint, and also understanding how they play a pivotal role in achieving the desired effects in your painting. If you would like to learn more about it and see how that can add to your work, check this out. Before we start, I'd like to mention that some parts of this tutorial were excerpted from my course Mastering Color Mixing. This online course will be released this year, 2024. Let's start by defining what undertone and mass tone are. The undertone of a color is what you see when the paint is spread thinly on a white surface, like a canvas, for example. This is oil paint, but it looks like watercolor paint, doesn't it? It's because we're working here um, with the undertone of the color. And these colors are translucent. So for opaque colors, that would be a little bit different. Mass tone is the color you see when the paint is applied thickly or seen squeezed out on the palette. It is also known as body color, and you don't see the support showing through the paint. In oil paint, some colors such as cadmium yellow and yellow ochre have similar undertones and mass tones. That's because they are opaque colors. On the other extreme, some pigments have undertones that are very different from the mass tone. Phthalo blue and transparent red oxide are some of them. They are undertone it will appear lighter and more intense than the mass tone. But why is this so important? Well, when we apply paint on a canvas, we rely on what its mass tone or undertone will be like. For example, painting methods like impasto and alla prima are based on the paint mass tone. So colors are applied thickly, either using a palette knife or a brush. And the colors are seen on the mass tone. Like ultramarine blue, for example, it appears very dark almost like a black color when you work with its mess tone uh, with the, the impasto technique. I usually use ultramarine blue mixed up with burnt sienna and a little bit of chromium oxide green when I want to mix a very dark green as I know that the ultramarine blue will lend its value to the mixture. It's a very nice combination and it's great to know how those colors behave when you're working with them thickly or thinly, you know, you need to understand the undertone and the mass tone appearance. On the other hand, the old technique glazing is based on the color undertone. If you're applying the paint smoothly, like traditional painting methods or working with glazings, you will see the undertone of your colors. That also shows you that a color may have several levels of depth depending on the amount of paint you have on your brush and how much pressure you put on it when you're applying the paint. So here are some pro tips. When painting, don't rely just on the look of the mass tone of your color. Always test it on a white surface, brushing out thinly to see what it will be like on your canvas. Avoid holding up the knife loaded with paint against your subject to assess the color. That way you will just see the color on its mass tone form. And that hides the true look of the pigment as seen when brushed out. I see my students doing that quite often. And they end up misjudging it as the color appears darker than after applied on the canvas. Unless you're working with the impasto technique or painting with the palette knife. So understanding the mass tone and undertone concept will make you get more control over the effects that can be produced with your colors. And there you have it. Understanding undertone and mass tone can be a powerful tool to help you achieve the desired effects you want in your painting. Experiment. Play with thin and thick strokes of paint. Use brushes, spell a knife and any other tools to apply your paint and explore those possibilities. 
Discover the magic that happens when you master the art of balancing those elements. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with upcoming art adventures. And if you'd like more in-depth tutorials, you can check my website in the link below this video. Until next time, keep creating and expressing yourself through the beauty of art. Have a nice day.